Hey guys, it's me, Amanda, again. So, um, this is the look. Um, I kind of played around with it and I really like it. So, um, if you can't tell or don't know or aren't into the series, this look is inspired by the character Jane from New Moon from Twilight. Um, it's kind of how they have Dakota Fanning's makeup with my own kind of twist on it. But when I think about the Volturi, I think about reds and blacks and just the dark, traditionalist vampire colors. You know, red, black, white, whatever. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, I kind of messed up on this eye already. I thought I was recording, and it wasn't. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take Artifact Paint Pot, which is a burgundy paint pot by MAC. And I'm just going to take my SS194 brush and put a little on it. And I'm just going to put it on the lower lid. Like not even on the entire lid. And you just kind of want it enough to where you kind of have that red undertone. Okay. So then I'm going to take actually I messed up again the same brush and just kind of dip the end of it in the brush like the very tip of it in and go underneath the bottom lash line slightly just to get kind of a a red tint under there and I really hope you guys can see this and anyway, that's what it looks like Then I'm going to take my SS252 brush, this is my flat shader brush for my Sigma set, and my Coastal Sense 88 palette. I'm going to take this red right here, the very matte red, the third one in from the black, and put some on it. Then just dot it right over top, and turn the brush over and kind of just rim the bottom lashes. Okay. So then, um, after that, I took Maroon Pigment. This is by MAC. I think it's a discontinued color now. It might be pro only. I don't know. I'm not sure. But um, this is a sample I got from The Body Needs. Just gonna tap some in the lid, and this is just my large shader blender brush from the Kashuk brush, which I really really like by the way. Swirling in the lid, I'm gonna tap off the excess, the excess. Actually, I missed a step. Don't want to do this. So I'm gonna take Urban Decay Primer Potion just on the end of the wand and just kind of rub the rim here or the outline of that red and kind of into the brow bone with UDPP and then just kind of smooth it out with my finger. Now back to this brush. You're going to take it and swirl it in the crease. And if it looks kind of choppy in places, don't worry about it. We're gonna we're gonna fix it and make it all blend out like better. So just kind of darken that area. And and what I like to do is I like to kind of concentrate it out here in the corner a little bit, and then sweep in, and then just go in circular motions and sweep in. And kind of right there, connecting to that bottom lash. Now, just because I wanted it to be a little bit darker, I'm going to take my SS219 and dip it in. I'm just going to dip it in the black there in this in the Coastal Sense palette, and just concentrate it right here in the outer V area, right there, and right underneath. Kind 
kind of go underneath that red on the bottom line, lash line. And then I'm just going to kind of blend it in to that crease with this small brush. And then kind of blend it outward. Now, that, that right there is way dark. So I'm just going to take my clean, uh, this is a clean SS224, and just kind of go over it. I'm just kind of soften it out and blend it out. Now, here's where you kind of want to look at it and gauge that it's even. And if it's messed up, you can always clean it up. But anyway, so um, since I really like the kind of awkward red on the top, um, I didn't do any sort of liner on the top. Um, so for the bottom, all I'm going to do is take black track fluid line and put a little, this is just on my angle liner brush by Sonia Kashuk. And I'm just going to go in here in the corner and kind of just fling that out, the wing out, and... Cut over that black shadow a little bit just to darken it out. And um, for my highlight, I took my MAC 217 brush and did it in the. Um, oh gosh, I didn't use this. I used my NYX single eyeshadow. This one is in White Pearl and forgive me for its disarray. It's cracked really bad but this is White Pearl and just kind of swept it right here on the inside of the tear duct and kind of feathered it out over that so it softened some of that black and then right underneath the brow bone Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off really quick. And then the next tutorial you will see will be my um, false eyelashes. I'm going to apply false eyelashes and then I'm going to do a favorites video and a catch-up video. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.